So for this question, a coil has R that is resistance 10 ohms and inductance 0 0.1 Henry. It is connected across a 100 volts 50 hertz supply. Now we are to calculate the impedance of the coil. Now let's represent this in a circuit form. So we have the voltage V equals 100 volts with frequency 50 hertz connected across the coil. Now the coil has resistance 10 ohms and then inductance 0 0.1 Henry. Notice that this circuit is a series circuit consisting of a resistor and an inductor. So to find the impedance of such a circuit is given by the formula Z equals the square root of R squared plus XL squared. Now R is the resistance and XL is the inductive reactance. Now we know the value of R which is equal to 10 ohms and then for XL XL which is the inductive reactance is equal to omega L and then omega is equal to 2 pi F and times L. Now we have frequency to be 50 so that's 2 pi times 50 times L and then L is 0 0.1 so we have 0 0.1. Now 2 pi times 50 times 0 0.1 is equal to 10 pi. So XL is equal to 10 pi. So we are going to have Z equals 10 squared plus 10 pi squared. Now the square root of 10 squared plus 10 pi squared is equal to 32.97 ohms. So this is the impedance of the coil. Now let's solve the second question. Now for question 7. The impedance Z equals 6 minus J8 ohm is expressed at a frequency of 50 Hz. Now we are asked to write down the corresponding expression at a frequency of 25 Hz. So for this circuit, we have the impedance to be 6 minus J8 ohm and then for any complex number we have the real part and the imaginary part. Now comparing the two equations, we realize that we have the real part to be 6 and then the imaginary part to be negative 8. Now the real part, which is 6, is the resistance of the circuit and the imaginary part is the capacitive reactance. Now whenever you have an impedance with a negative imaginary impedance component then it is the capacitive reactance. So now let's represent the impedance in the form of the resistance and the capacitive reactance. So we have Z equals R minus Jxc. So from this Xc is equal to 8. Now we know that Xc is equal to 1 minus omega c. Now what you are going to do is to find the value of the capacitance at frequency 50 Hz. Now Xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi f 
times c because omega is equal to 2 pi f now we have frequency of 50 hertz so we are going to insert this value in this equation so xc is equal to 1 over 2 pi times 50 times c now xc is equal to 8 so we have 1 over 2 pi times 50 is 100 pi times c equals 8 so we had 1 over 100 pi times c equals 8 now from this we can interchange the positions of c and 8 so we are going to have 1 over 100 pi times 8 equals c so that c is equal to 1 over 800 pi so this is the capacitance at frequency 50 hertz so we are going to insert this value back into xc by this time we have frequency 25 hertz so we have xc equals 1 over 2 pi f times c which is going to be 2 pi times this time we have frequency to be 25 hertz so times 25 times we have the capacitance to be 1 over 800 pi so that is going to be 1 over now 2 times 25 is 50 so we have 50 pi over 800 pi so pi cancels pi and then we have 1 over 50 over 800 that is xc so xc is equal to when you punch this on your calculator you are going to get 16 so xc is equal to 16 so if that's the case then the impedance at frequency 25 hertz is equal to we have the real part to be 6 now the real part which is the resistance is not affected by the frequency or by the change in frequency so it still maintains at 6 and then we have minus j 16 so this is the new impedance this is the impedance when we have frequency to be 25 hertz now for question 8 we are to express in a plus or minus jb form a current of 25 amperes leading a reference voltage by 30 degrees now using the information we have in the question we can represent that in a phasor diagram so we have a reference voltage that is V and then we have current 25 amperes leading the voltage by 30 degrees now for leading we are moving in the anticlockwise direction referencing the positive x axis where the voltage lies so we have i which is 25 amperes leading the voltage by an angle of 30 degrees so this is the phasor representation of the question we have now we are asked to represent the current in the form a plus or minus jb now we know that the instantaneous current i of t is equal to i m sine omega t plus phi we have i m to be the maximum or the peak value 
and then phi to be the phase angle. So from the question, we have IM to be 25 amperes and we have phi to be 30 degrees. Now let's fuse this in this equation. So we have I of T to be equal to 25 sine omega T plus 30 degrees. So to represent I of T in a form A plus or minus JB, we need to multiply 25 cos the angle plus J25 sine the angle. So that's going to be 25 cos 30 plus J25 sine 30. Now 25 cos 30 is equal to 21.65 and then 25 sine 30 is 12.50 so by this we've been able to represent the current in the form a plus or minus jb so we have a to be 21.65 and then b to be 12.50